Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So as part of being honest and open with everyone regarding our premium group, we promise to show the results either is good or bad. We are not hiding anything. We are not like some other scammers who are hiding their bad days. Actually, we are here showing the reality of Forex that there will be some days bad. We should always be prepared for such days. And sadly, that day happened last week. We had only one good day, which was which was 15th April. And the other days with, were almost break even or actually really bad like last Friday. Now, of course, and uh, we don't have to mention that the market last week was very low in uh, volatility the banks were closed it was easter so there was a lot of unexpected things happened last week that led to these bad results however we want to highlight that these are the exceptionals usually you are doing a lot better than that and i allowed myself to show here the results that we are usually having an extreme trader we are usually able to finish every week in very good profit most of the days are actually closed in very good deals and we can see it's actually full of green however we always telling you that you have to be prepared for the bad days they will happen we never promise anything we never promise that you will get any profit for guaranteed if you join the extreme trader premium signals group there will be some bad days and thankfully in extreme trader the exceptions is the bad days usually we are having full of green days usually we are receiving happy messages from the members last week or actually last friday to be honest the other days was somehow normal it was only one bad day that we had and i think you have to be fair with us it's happening it's possible this is the reality of forex we always have to be prepared for such bad days so in the end um, i hope next week will be much better and the market will be actually running in more of, of uh, volatility and it will be more active and giving us more profit so hopefully we are going to recover all these losses in the next week however if you wish to join the extreme trader premium signals group please don't hesitate to contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video hopefully we will see you there soon so moving on right now to the weekly analysis and let's as usual start with the euro usd if you remember from my midweek analysis video i expected from the euro usd to actually reverse right on that previous resistance however the euro usd reversed just a few pips before that and it went down all the way to this support level exactly as i expected and now after seeing this price action of the reversal we can expect now from the euro usd to actually make another reversal uh, sorry to make another bullish reversal after hitting that strong support level right here now if we draw a trend line here like that we can see that the euro usd most likely is going to reverse right after creating a support number two since we are having here a support number one and right now the euro usd is reversing on the support number two what i'm expecting actually is that the euro usd is gonna go up all the way hitting the very same level of the resistance right here this is a this is a resistance number one and after hitting this resistance trend line and creating a resistance number two the euro usd is actually gonna continue falling so what we are going to do actually right now is we are going to buy the euro usd and let me just give you the exact level where we can start buying the pair if I'm not mistaken, hopefully I'm accurate. This is going to be accurate entry. We can start buying the Euro USD right on this previous support level right here. We can see we're having here a previous support, and exactly this tail here is very helpful to know where we can start buying the Euro USD. So we can start buying the pair on the level. Uh, we can start buy on 1.0852. And let me tell you something, we can have a stop loss this time. If you see any candle actually closes as a, a, a bearish breakout candle from the support level, we can set the stop loss right here. So that's a lot of pips actually. Uh, however, maybe maybe it's going to be difficult to explain to you how we can make the, uh, the stop loss. Again, I'm telling you that we are having right here a previous support level. And if you see any bearish breakout candle closes below this support level, please close the trade with the loss. And however, our tech profit level is going to be set right on this previous resistance level. Right here, as I said, this is exactly the resistance 
where we are expecting from the pair to continue rising hit this level and then it's gonna fall down so this is gonna be our take profit level um, on 1.0959 so hopefully this is how is how the uh, the euro USD is gonna be moving I believe this is a good analysis and most likely the pair is gonna respect this level as a resistance and from that point we're gonna wait any price action indicating let me tell you that we have to see the price action here guys that's why this is your take profit level maybe there will be a bullish breakout candle from that resistance and in that case we are going to have another signal when we when when we can see the pair actually falling down to retest the broken uh, resistance trend line then we can start buying the pair however that's not gonna happen this week i think so this is my signal for the euro usd let's now move to the pound usd so from the pound usd actually we can see that the pair is right now ranging on this previous resistance and this previous resistance is now becoming the new support now looking at the pound usd we can see that the pair has made several attempts to break out from this previous resistance however the pair has failed so far and therefore you can expect from the pair to continue rising all the way until it hit this previous resistance let's check what will gonna happen if the pair hit that resistance level if we look at the left we can see that we are having actually a strong resistance level here as well right here and right here so this level is very strong as a resistance for the euro for the sorry for the pound usd and if i draw a trend line here like that we can see that we are having here a support trend line which has been breaking out and right now the market is retesting this broken support trend line most likely what will gonna happen after hitting this previous resistance this previous resistance is now becoming the new support and therefore we can expect from the pound usd to continue the rise all the way to create a resistance number two on both res the resistance trend line and the horizontal resistance and from that point the pound usd seems good for the sell however that's not gonna happen in long time in my opinion therefore what i'm going to do actually is i'm gonna give the signal to start buying the pound usd right now it is actually good to start buying right now however you can expect from the pair to go for almost let me just uh, you know something i'm gonna make it more accurate i'm gonna make it more accurate to your entry i will change the buy now let me go to the one hour chart and see what what we can do that actually seems a lot better so we can start buying the pound usd on the level 1.24696 now of course i don't have to explain to you that we had here a previous support level that support is gonna keep its position as a support and as we can see we already have a support number one and now seeing the market reversing on this resistance level on the one hour chart we can expect on monday morning the market is gonna fall down right here to create a support number two that is where we exactly want to place the buy order for the pound usd and keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance level right here which is going to be also a resistance uh, trend line number two that's why i'm just going to make it safe for everyone so we can expect about 128 pips of profit for the trade of the pound usd take profit is on 1.2597 two so hopefully this is what will gonna happen and we're gonna make some good profit out of the pound usd let's check right now the aud usd now for the aud usd as we can see the pair is right now ranging on this support level this previous support level the market has respected this support and the trend is going up most likely the trend is gonna continue rising all the way until it hit this previous resistance level right here now however where is exactly the best time to start buying the aud usd in my opinion that is going to be exactly the best level to start buying the aud usd since we can see that it has been a resistance level which was also a strong support and you know something i'm going to use the trend lines just to confirm if this is indeed a good level to start buying the pair sorry when we are we just need to clone the support only exactly like that so what we can see right here guys 
that we had here a previous support trend line has been broken out and then after several attempts this support trend line we can see the fake breakout right here this is a this is what we call a fake breakout we can see that the market did not break out from this level so actually this support trend line get its position as a support trend line right here if i zoom in we can see this tail here which confirmed that this support trend line kept its position as a support trend line and therefore we can start buying the pair exactly from the attempt number no, sorry number two that is a support number one and we can start buying the AUD USD on the support number two let me just rise this line a, a little bit like that so we can have better entry so most likely the pair is gonna fall for almost 18 pips before it's gonna be good for the buy we can start buying the AUD USD on the level 0 0.63409 uh, and then keep the keep that red running all the way until it hit this previous resistance level right here it's just very important to mention to you th that if you notice guys I have drawn this uh, support trend line so you can expect from the trade to go a little bit against you and then it's gonna be good to reverse so don't be afraid don't panic if the trade goes against you for a few pips that's of course very normal I cannot give the exact best level for entry there will be some times the candle might go a little bit more down to create the tail or the wick and then it's gonna reverse however let's continue the take profit level is gonna be on the resistance on the level 0 0.64289 hopefully it's gonna be good a good analysis and we are gonna see uh, or get some good profit out of it let's move right now to the USD CAD and for the USD CAD actually what I'm seeing here is um, what we can see right here guys is we are having obviously a support number one and we can expect from the USD CAD to reverse right on support number two however most likely the bearish momentum is strong here and I'm expecting from the USD CAD to actually fall down after hitting this previous resistance level right here so remember right now we are on the four hour chart let's go now to the one hour chart and let me tell you where we can start actually start shorting the USD CAD uh, it is definitely good for the short we just need to find the best level and it's exactly right here let me just go to the four hour chart and see it fantastic perfect 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 yes so as I said we can expect a pullback from the USD CAD not a pullback sorry we can expect a reversal we can expect a reversal from this support level like that so that resistance level here is gonna be the best to start shorting the pair and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level right here so uh, just to be safe actually I just want to give a safe signal for everyone let me just increase this line here so what I'm trying to do is actually make it on this previous support level and the highest level of this resistance and just to be sure guys I just want to be sure that you will not lose a lot of pips in case the analysis uh, took some time to start reversing like that so that is gonna be the best lever to start shorting the USD CAD we can start sell on the level 1.40480 and as I said we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit that previous resistance level right here we can expect about 120 pips of profit from this uh, signal take profit on 1.39251 so hopefully the market is gonna follow this analysis and we're gonna make some good profit out of it let's move right on to the USD GPY so the USD GPY if I'm not mistaken we can see that the continuation here of the bearish momentum is gonna last and I think the USD GPY is gonna continue falling right away right after hitting this previous resistance actually this price action is indicating a continuation in the bearish momentum therefore I really don't think that the USD, uh, the USD GPY is gonna reverse up at all at this moment most likely that the pair is gonna continue the bearish momentum right after opening on Monday uh, let's uh, just move to the 4 hour chart and we can see that the pair is now ranging on that support level not to mention that the pair has the one second guys 
the pair has already reversed let me just zoom in as we can see we're having here a previous support level and right after this bearish breakout candle the pair kept its position as a resistance therefore we can expect the market to reverse right away at the market opening on Monday therefore let me just set our take profit level I'm gonna set my take profit level to be right on this previous support level right here which was also a resistance in the past and we can see that the pair most likely is gonna fall to this support level and I think from that support we can expect from the market to continue uh, the bullish reversal however that might take some time and let me just uh, check with the trend lines just a second guys hold on yes as I expected the the USD GPY is moving now in this channel most likely it's gonna continue the bearish momentum all the way to this support level then from that support level after hitting the support trend line it's gonna reverse and most likely we can expect from the USD GPY to move up here hitting this previous resistance however that's not gonna happen this week for this week we can start sell right now sell the US the USD GPY right away and we can keep the trade running all the way to hit the take profit level after almost 120 pips on the level take profit on uh, 106.300 hopefully that's gonna be a good signal and it will be a good one let's check right now the USD CHF now the USD CHF as well if we go to the daily candles we can see the reversal happened right after hitting that previous resistance level we had here a resistance number one and here right here we are having a resistance number two that's very good let's go to the four hour chart and we can see that we are having right here a previous resistance as well this one right here uh, most likely the USDCHF is gonna continue the fall until it hit this previous support level and from that point we can expect from the USDCH shift to actually reverse and go up right here however uh, that might take some time as I said let's just uh, use the trend lines just to be sure and indeed yes most likely the USDCH F after making three attempts on this resistance trend line is gonna now fall down and I believe this support level is gonna keep its position as a support and from that point most likely the pair is gonna reverse um, let's just uh, set that we can start shorting the USDCHF on the level 0 0.96774 now after let me just uh, select a better tech profit level just to be sure that everyone is gonna make some good profit out of this trade and if I'm not mistaken let me just be let's just have a safe entry guys of 83 pips of profit so this is our tech profit level on 0 0.95911 hopefully it's gonna be good analysis as well and the market is gonna be loyal now let's move to the gold the gold if you noticed uh, last week uh, I gave on the midweek analysis a signal that we can start shorting the gold exactly here and the market in one day has reached the take profit level it was a very good signal and thankfully a lot of people or, or members have uh, made good profit out of this signal now what's gonna happen next with the gold now we need to remember something the gold is moving based on the news about the coronavirus and it's very critical it's very hard to trade the gold that's why I need to give you a very short signals for the gold giving long signals is really not ideal at all so now what's happening next with the gold now if I'm not mistaken the gold as we can see guys is approaching a support number one after this breakout candle from that resistance level therefore we can see the market is very near actually on the four hour chart to this support number two level so just to be safe as I said I'm going I'm going I'm going to give you a short signal for the use for the gold therefore the gold signal this this time is going to be for the buy right after this level after the market hit the support number two and keep the trade running only to hit the resistance number one right here so the market is going to create a resistance number two that is a very short uh, signal 
this is like a scalping and it's gonna give us about 270 pips of profit hopefully so we can start buying the gold on 1674.91 Keep the thread running guys until it hit the resistance level take profit on uh, 1700.23 now of course this is the short signal or actually a, a very short signal what's I'm, what i'm expecting actually after the market hit this previous resistance and create support number two looking at the left we can see this very strong key resistance level so what i'm expecting actually that the market is going to reverse hit our take profit level and from that point the gold is gonna be good again for the short after creating the double top right there therefore that is that is actually for those who just want to start uh, trading the gold for long term uh, but i'm just i'm just highly suggesting you after reaching this level of the resistance if the market is gonna reach it uh, just wait for a good price action just such as a, a pin bar or a reversed hammer anything indicating a bearish reversal then you can start shorting the gold i don't have to remind you guys that the gold is very sensitive again and one small candle can ruin your trade please be careful and use a proper lot size especially when you are trading the gold um, that was my expectation for this week hopefully it's gonna be a really good week uh, for everyone in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching